Hey guys, I'm going for black and white only today. Now, this is the first time ever that I'm going to be doing this kind of painting. And I have never done it because it kind of freaks me out. If you've been following me for a while, you might uh, know already that when I use black and white, I always use a hint of another color. And um, that's what makes uh, my painting, you know, black, white, and then a hint of another color. But today I am being strong and I'm going for just these two colors. And I wanted to put this in my Simple is Best series since it's only like two colors, but I personally find this is not simple at all. Um, to try and not get too much gray in your painting and uh, just to get a good result with only these two colors I find is very hard. So I'm like being strong today, I'm going for it. And I think that the most important thing, as usual, is the preparation of the paints. And um, I'm, I'm going to try and be really careful today to like prepare these perfectly, perfectly, so that I, I get a good result, all right? So um, the white is my white mix, which is a brand of acrylic paint mixed with the Artist Loft. My black is three brands. It's that same brand of acrylic paint that I haven't shown yet. Um, the Liquitex Mars Black and the Black from Artist Loft. Now, in the attempt of not getting too much gray in my painting, I will not be putting my finger through. And I'm also going to be adding more pouring medium to my paint than I usually do. In the hopes of the colors staying more binded. You see, that's a lot there. And hopefully they won't, uh, like the, the concentration of the color will be more strong and they won't blend in as much as usual. It's what I'm hoping for, <laughs> okay? Um, so I'm working on 20, a 20 by 20 uh, canvas that I've painted the sides white. You see, I put way more than I usually put in there. All right, you guys, so I'm going to finish uh, preparing these. I'm going to mix in the pouring medium, then add water, and I'm going to set myself up, and I am going for this. Alright guys, so I used all of my two cups of black and I still have all of this left of white. I know that my white reacts like crazy, you can already see it here. The white is insane. Oh god, this is scary. So no finger through. All right. It's kind of cool. And some stuff is happening here that I've never seen before. So I'm going to leave the camera on for you guys and I'll be back uh, later. Like, I'll, I'll see how much it changes, I'll wait, and I'll be back, you guys, all right?
Time lapse was of about 40 minutes and it's funny how I struggled for so long to get my white out there, to not lose it completely in my colors and now with this new mix it's it's taking over. It seriously, it even takes over the black like crazy. And there is gray in there, but I think the gray there is normal. It's where the cells are. And I didn't get like plenty of gray mixed into my white or into my black. I have my blank spaces like I wanted. And check out those cool effects there. The painting hasn't ch changed really since about 5-10 minutes, so that's why I'm filming now. I don't think it's going to change more. And I believe I have enough um, black blank space over there. There's definitely more white, but I'm still liking it. I'm liking the edge there too. So many cool stuff. Alright guys, so <laughs> I actually I reached my goal here black and white painting and I find it looks awesome. Hope you guys like this and I'll be posting the dried result on my social media. All right? Have a good one.